for today? And did you go past that? Yeah, somebody said to me, um, I said to him before, you, you sub yourself in and out, and if you're not subbing yourself, I'll take you out. But um, he, uh, somebody hit me and said, do you have him on a minute restriction? I said, yeah, as many as he can play. I mean, we just played a really good team. I saw Tommy in the hallway, and I just said, you know, you were more prepared to finish a game off than we were. Um, we missed free throws where we could have separated. Um, but we rebounded better. We, we transitioned where in the first half they got seven points. We didn't get a point in transition. Second half, we got more than they got. We did enough to win the game, but that we were discombobulated at times. We were making calls and guys, were, we just haven't practiced together. Um, some of the late game stuff, um, you know, Again, we, we've, we've had three guys out that you expect to play. And give them credit. They, they did what they had to. They made, you know, they made it like every free throw. And we come down one out of two, one out of two. And hard to win a game that way. But out of bounds play was just something we never do. And we left a man. <laughs> He's under the basket. And for, you know, but that's all stuff that I'm fine. For Oscar to do what he did without playing for four weeks and have a practice, come on. That's ridiculous. Um, and Kaysen, I thought, really played well. I played him too many minutes. And when, when, Aunt, uh, when um, Oscar went with the fifth foul, I was going to go more with Antonio, but I, I had to leave Kaysen in. And then I'm thinking, OK. What do we do? I, you know, hindsight is maybe play him and let him just go get baskets for you, which he can do. So, like I said, this team, we fought. We, we battled. We put ourselves in a position to win. Um, and they knew they missed free throws. And I, and I said, look, guys, at the end of the day, we got a good team. We, you play veteran teams. Like, we got games coming up against really good veteran kind of teams. You got to finish people off. That means make free throws. That means total execution. Um, you know, the game plan was how we're not leaving Hauser. We left Hauser. I'm like, in a huddle. Why did you, well, I had, there is no excuse. Why did you leave him? Then I had to take one guy out because I had been saying it every, and he, so that stuff, when you get together as a team, that focus will be better. And so now we go forward. Now we, we tomorrow's practice will be video, and then we'll play a game, and then we got to travel to Spokane. Um, but I'm glad we played in this game. We learned a lot about our team. And, it, you know, to go double overtime, like I'm exhausted right now. Go double overtime this early in the year in that environment um, and then have to do it without Oscar made it, you know, a, a tough go. Cal, in terms of you said learning a lot about your team, offensively, for you guys to be what you want to be offensively, what, what happened tonight, for example, what needs to happen? Well, well, here's what I liked. We couldn't make threes, yet we were going to win the game. That means you're doing all the other stuff you need to do. Um, but we're a team that's got to get baskets in transition. We got to get baskets from the three point point line. And as we get better with Oscar, um, we tried to do too much passing from the wing in, which crowds it. There's got to be more passes from the middle third in, so they can't really trap him. If they do, you're giving up shots. So things that we got to work on. But we need to be a team that's scoring 80 a game. And then defensively, I think we're good enough. And rebounding, we're good enough um, to put ourselves in a position to win. Do you need Oscar to be a, a playmaker for you two, getting passing the ball out? Or he, had, he had some turnovers. There were a couple things I thought he could have kicked out. But uh, come on, man. He's, you know, what do you, can't do everything. Like even the play out of bounds. I got to, you know, he was carrying us for a while. And, and that happens. But, um, we just, I got a lot to learn about our team, and I thought these guys fought like heck. When you talk about late-game situations, that's on me as a coach. Let's go. Let's figure this out. Now, I come back and say we just haven't been together to do it. 
We haven't had our team together. So. That's why I didn't take him out. He was getting steals. He was rebounding. Um, he had that foul. He, he, he reverted to high school. I'm going to go up and take this from him. No, you don't do that in college. So he went up and bought, boom, foul, and the kid makes two. You know, and stuff like that. But when you talk about what he did and the difference, the impact he had on the game, it was enormous. He's a good player. But here, here's the other thing. I had guys, whether it was Hugo, Damian, Chris, Antonio, normally they're playing more, but what happened was you get into a rhythm and you're like, okay, let's stick with this. And I only made subs. You're riding a team that's doing what they're doing. So we just, like I said, I got a full, full group of guys that all can play. Um, and we just got to go from here. Well, there were shots our guys did not take. Like we were, one was one for seven, the other's two for seven. But there were shots we didn't take. My thing is, look, you got to shoot them. You got to you you got to make that play. And if you don't, we'll rebound your miss. I mean, some of our turnovers were based on you have an open shot and you're not taking it. Um, but they also went this way, and then they were kind of beating on Oscar. You know what I'm saying? We'll go one, just file them, and if they don't call the foul, great. And they just, you know, and now all of a sudden the kid's, you know, fighting for his life down there one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then it takes away some of these other guys. I think that's what Tommy was trying to do. But they, uh, you know, you got to get baskets in transition. You got to fly it ahead. You got to throw it and go in the lane. But they're a physical team, and they play physical. They do. And, uh, you know, it was you know, exciting for everybody watching it. It just wasn't exciting for me at the end. I mean, everybody watching it saying, what a great game. That was something. Double overtime. Yeah. No. John, how many guys have you coached who you could miss a month like that and still come out and play the way Oscar did? I coached this guy, Superman, in Memphis. No, you don't have. I mean, he had, he had arthroscopic surgery. It was out four weeks. They say it could be six weeks. After watching him practice, I said, I think you should have played last week, which would have been three weeks. What? And, um, and he wants a win in the worst way, you know. But we got, we got a lot of stuff to figure out. We really do. And, uh, but I like this team. I like us defensively. I like us rebounding. I like a shooting, playmaking, and you know, a lot of good stuff. We weren't ready, and I told everybody, we're not ready for teams that are ready to finish off the end of a game. We're not. And that's on me. I mean, Lance even said, Coach, we haven't worked on this. Maryland and touchdown and plays with four and five seconds to go. I said, we haven't had time, and we haven't had the team here. So now I'm doing it with five guys and four. So some of it is on me. Um, and a game like this, you know, you look at it and say, okay, they executed better than us, and they did. And that comes back to me again. Yeah, Manny Sissoko hasn't played a lot of basketball. He played a lot tonight. He did. Struggled with Oscar the way everyone else in the country does. But he made big free throws. And then What's he shoot from the free throw line? 50%. He made every free throw. You talk about the way he hung in Unbelievable. The and then they got a guy they can throw lobs to, which are my guys, how we usually play. And I was trying to get guys to the rim. Uh, Damian had a couple opportunities for lobs. One we threw off the shot clock. The other we didn't throw. So, again, we got so much work to do to just settle down and get into here's who we are. Um, but that's the fun part of coaching. I mean, I, I told the guys, this is the games you want to play. These are the games you want to play. Let's find out who we are. The, all the, our schedule is ridiculous. But isn't that who you want to play, guys? And they'll say, yeah. So let's go out and regroup and uh, get out of here. Do you guys mind if I leave?
so I can get on the bus and get out. Thank you.